Jules, you mentioned players that they need to get rid of. Who would you be referring to? <laughs> Good luck. Three quarters of the squad. I mean, there's the ones who are going to leave because they're out of contract anyway, like Paul Pogba, uh, like, like many others. Um, what do you do with Marcus Rashford? He wants a new deal. He, I, I was told, wants quite a lot of money in wages. Right now, you, you, you can't keep... Marcus Rashford on his terms. It doesn't work like this. What do you do with Cristiano? I think Cristiano is the biggest, the biggest question mark. Whoever comes as a manager will have to decide, do we keep him, but you keep him and you play him? Can he, can he fit any, any identity that a new manager like Ten Hag or Pochettino wants to implement in that football team? I'm not sure. Do you get rid of him? How do you get rid of him on the money that he's on with one more year left on his contract? Who's going to take him at his age? So this, this that, that you just start with the biggest one. And then what do you do with players like Matic? What do you do with, with Maguire? What do you do with Lindelof? You still have everybody. You're still paying Phil Jones. Phil Jones right now is being paid 150000 a week by Manchester United. How is that even possible? So all of that, all of that <laughs> has to go. And then you bring on the players that your manager wants, the players that he will fit in his philosophy, in his system, in his tactics. And if that means it's not a big name, but it's someone who runs a lot, who presses well, who is intelligent, go and get him. If he wants a big name, go and get him. But stop wasting your money that you've done for so many years. Easy peasy, hey, Frank. Not a lot to do at Manchester United. <laughs> Well, that's the, that's the main problem. And Jules uh, pointed what, the, what they should do. So it's really getting rid of most players, but uh, they're under contract. But uh, again, you have to leave them alone, I think. Deal with their own mess because it's what they created. Uh, maybe get rid of all the people in the board and uh, people who made, decision, made this, those decisions and uh, restart from scratch because it's going to take ages to get rid of the players, to restart something but rebuild the academy, rebuild the first team, uh, rebuild the board. I mean, they, they destroyed uh, 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 one of the biggest clubs in the world, if it's not the biggest club in the world. Can you imagine that? It's a big, big mess. Uh, Arsenal almost went into it after, after Wenger left. Uh, I saw Marseille a little bit like that. Uh, what's going to happen to Paris Saint-Germain soon? Uh, Barcelona almost went into that uh, and they seem to survive. There are big clubs who have who've been under question marks, but that one, when we see the players, when we see the status of the, of the club, but when we see what's going on in and just out of the, of the, of the, of the, of Old Trafford, it's, it's a nightmare. It's really a nightmare. And I feel sad for the fans, really. Casual little drop in of Marseille there <laughs> of by Frank. Uh, Shaka, could you ever have foreseen this in your days in the Premier League that this is what would happen to Manchester United? No, not at all. I, I think a, a real discussion around Manchester United is if they're going to do as Liverpool did and, and go some 30 years before you can see them realistically in, in, in a title race again. And as much as Manchester United fans might not want to hear that, uh, refuse to think that, it's, it's an absolute truth for them. And, and the other truth to that is it's, it's of their own making. Listen, between Jules and Frank, they, they touched on all the issues around Manchester United, around the academy, uh, around the playing squad and, and what, needs to, what needs to be restructured. But the football club is, is, is being run as poorly as any club, let alone we're talking about one of the biggest clubs in, in, in world football. What football club, what big football club is afraid of a manager because he's too outspoken? What big football club in in today's game, does not go after the most highly decorated coach that is available because he has a little bit too much to say for himself. And you allow Antonio Conte to, to walk away. And you bring in Ralph Raniak as, 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 uh, instead. You, you're creating your own problems. And, and to your question, Kay, no, I'm really wondering if that second place finish jaded Manchester United in, in terms of their own assessment of, of where they are. Because the, the truth is, last season, they, finished, they finished second last season, and over the course of 38, 38 games, you have to say you deserve that. But City won the league. That's normal and, and to be expected. Chelsea changed their manager halfway through the season. I don't think any other club, any other big club, was more affected by COVID than Liverpool. So now all of a sudden you finish second and you think we're in a good place, and, and you you hiding from your own truth. And now you know that that has, has, has come home to roost. And, and I, I honestly do not know how or when 
Manchester United get themselves out of this absolute mess. Ian, you get the final thought on this. Uh, just a couple of things, really. You put up that caption of the team, and I was looking at it and thinking, who in that team is having a good season? Only the goalkeeper, as far as I could discern, De Gea. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, off and on, yes. The others, really, all underperforming against what you'd expect. And another point, really, is, yes, a clear-out's needed, but who now wants to go to Manchester United? People would have walked on broken glass to go there when Sir Alex Ferguson was there. Now, they might be in the European Conference League or maybe not even in Europe at all if Wolves overtake them and they end up finishing eighth. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.